When you're dealing with a misinformation case, you first of all need to check that there really has been misinformation and it's not just that the player has misbid. If you discover during the auction that there's been misinformation, you're allowed to rewind the auction to the last call made by the non-offending side and providing the misinformation has led them to make the wrong call, they're allowed to change it. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, I should have alerted the two club bits. It's not a natural bit. Yes, I think I would have done something different. Uh, I think we'd better call the director. Uh, director, please. Hello, how can I help you? Uh, I'm afraid I didn't alert the two clubs when I should have done. Right, and it looks to me as though East has passed over it. Um, okay, so you're alerting it now, and if they want to know what it is, they can ask you now. Please. Okay, uh, the two clubs is something called Checkback. Um, it's just asking for more information, but it's not showing clubs. Okay. Right, Thank you. so if you wish, you could change your pass if you would have done something different had it been alerted before. Yes, I'd like to do that. Okay, that's fine. Right, and it all just carries on from there. Okay, thank you. thank you. If you discover when the opening lead has been made face down that there's been misinformation, you're allowed to reopen the auction as far as the last call made by the non-offending side. After that, they just have to play it out, but if you feel that they've been damaged by the misinformation, you can award an adjusted score later.